is Felicia with Happily Ever After Living, where I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love while on a budget that they can afford. So, I was not sure if I was going to post this video or not, but I thought, you know what, why not? For those of you that don't know, I've managed to pay off over $170,000 worth of debt. Since then, my husband and I have began to build wealth for ourselves. We also have a goal of hopefully being able to create generational wealth for our kids and our family. So if you guys have seen other videos on my channel, I've been documenting my 100 pound weight loss journey. I've been doing frugal grocery hauls, showing you guys my meal preps, all of that stuff. So a Louis Vuitton bag is definitely not in alignment, but it is. What you guys don't know is that I have wanted one of these bags since 2015. We began our debt-free journey in 2016, so needless to say, that never happened. So when my husband said to me that I can choose any bag that I wanted from the Louis Vuitton store for my birthday, <laughs> I freaking lost it. And if you can't tell by my excitement, that's been over two weeks ago, and I'm still excited today. So today, we will be doing a what's in my bag, and I wanna share with you guys what I have been carrying in this girl. She is chunky like me. <laughs> no, she is so chunky. I love her. She's the perfect carrying angle. I'll be sure to insert some photos of what she looks like whenever I'm wearing her. And also when I was looking to see which bag I wanted, I noticed that there were a lot of unboxing videos on YouTube. So I'm not doing an unboxing, but I do want to show you guys, like if you're anything like me and you've always wanted like a really nice luxury bag, it comes in a really, they do a great job. Like they really do and they treat you so well. Like it comes in a really nice box and I did not retie my box. I was actually so excited to have my bag that I wore out of the store. I sure did. Like I have no shame, no shame. This is something that I've wanted forever. Why am I gonna put it in a box and like carry it in a bag home? No, I carried it on my shoulder. I'll put a picture here. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what's inside of my bag. I don't know if I mentioned it yet or not, but this is the Grand Palace. I say Grand Palace, maybe it's Grand Palais. This is my first luxury bag by Louis Vuitton. So if I'm pronouncing it wrong, then feel free to correct me in the comment section. But let me move the camera so that I can get on top and like pull each item out. Because when I was looking at like what fits inside of all these handbags, I wanted to see them like as they took it out. So let's move the camera. All right guys, so you cannot see my face from here, but that is not what's important. What's important is what is inside of this bag. So let's start back here. So the first thing I have, today is Sunday. Um, so the first thing I have is this notebook. Um, I think I got it from like Marshalls or Ross. It was like $3.99. And I just love to have this notebook with me because this is where I take notes for church. Um, and also like if I needed to jot down some quick patient information, I would put it in here. But I feel comfortable opening this because if and when I do that, I have to rip those pages out and shred it because I take this with me more than just for work. Like I take it to church as well, so I don't carry patient information, I just take it out and shred it. But I do keep my church notes in here. Like for instance, this morning we were um, going over the book of Mark. You guys don't wanna know all that stuff, but this is what I take for church. All right, now, this, <laughs> this is my grocery list from today. So I'll just take that out. I don't need that anymore. So we'll just move that over. That won't go back in the bag. All right, next, if you are a home health physical therapist, nurse, whatever, you know that anytime you can do documentation, like you're just gonna take your stuff with you because anytime you get a quick 15, 10 minutes where you can document, why not? This is a um, Samsung Android tablet that was issued by my job. So yes, I keep that in there so that anytime I get a chance to document, just whip it out, get it done. Now. This keyboard is a Bluetooth keyboard. They didn't provide this. I'll put the link down in the description bar below. And they also di didn't um, provide the case, so I'll put a link for that too in case anyone's interested. All right, next we have my wallet. All right, so let's just be honest here. I was so excited to get the bag, but the wallet itself was like 
over $1,000. So I did not get a wallet, but you guys know I love Michael Kors, like, and I love the monogram. So I switched from my Filofax wallet where I had all of my cash envelopes, and I went to this beautiful Michael Kors wallet. I love it so much. Um, so inside of here, I have all of my cards and my ID. I'll link this wallet as well in case anyone is interested. And then you guys can see here. So what I did with my cash envelopes is now I carry my self-care envelope here. Okay. Okay, so let's count and see how much I have. Is anyone interested? So I have 50, 100. Two hundred. I have two hundred and fifty-five dollars to put towards self-care, like anything that I want to do for myself. And I will say, I am coming up on my one year um, that I've been on my weight loss journey. So around June first, I'm going to treat myself to a full body massage. Money. I actually need to take money out of here because. Um, I did a cash app this morning for a graduation gift. So this is like, this is 150 that actually needs to come out. I need to deposit that back into the bank. And then that leaves me with $80 of miscellaneous money for the next two weeks in case anything comes up. Pretty much all I have in my wallet. And then here, I just have this little Michael Kors cosmetic case. I love this. I think it's so beautiful. Like, I am definitely not one of those girls where, like, everything has to match. As long as it makes me happy, that is all that matters. Um, so in here, I have, like, this is what it looks like before I take anything out. Okay. So I have whites. <laughs> like, I think... It's just, I don't know, kills 99.9% .9 of germs. It's just nice to have. And you guys know I, I'm a home health physical therapist, so anytime I'm working from my car, you know, in between patients, I do use like um, hand sanitizer and I try to wash my hands as much as possible prior to leaving a patient's home. But you know, before I eat my lunch or something, it's just nice to have something to wipe my hands on. Um, and in that same category, I have more hand sanitizer and there's more hand sanitizer too can you guys tell like healthcare provider working through a pandemic so i like these these are really nice like you can give these to your kids and you know like if they just needed it in a pinch or if someone else needed hand sanitizer and you didn't just want them touching your entire bot bottle like i'm not talking to my family but randoms right so I always like to be helpful. <laughs> so I could just give these out to someone if they need them. And then, oh, this is a receipt from my daughter's dental appointment. That's not supposed to be in here. So I'm gonna take that and move it over there. And then I have floss. I have been working so hard at getting better at flossing my teeth. Um, as a home health physical therapist, it helps to have this because I like to eat salads and different veggies. So this kind of like helps me to not have the green stuff in my teeth. And this just helps me to just be better at flossing because that is something that I need to, I need to do better. I need to do better. You guys let me know like down in the comment section if you struggle with flossing. I know some of you guys probably like nail it and you're good at it, you do it all the time, but not me, I'm working on it. Okay, so that's all of that. And then I have my phone, which is in here, but technically it should be like in the side pocket to make it easier to get to. So ideally I like to put this down here. Okay, and then I have my little receipts organizer. I have just found that since I've gone to little pouches, my purses are so much better, my work bag is better. And to be honest with you guys, do you know who kind of like helped me come up with this system? My husband. He helped me organize my work bag and once we put all of my work stuff like into categories, my brain was like, oh, I loved it. It makes so much more sense. And since then, I've been doing every bag the same way. So here is my little receipts pouch. 
and I need to go through these. I'm trying to do much better with my taxes this year with separating business and personal expenses. And not only that, but trying to sit down. Um, as you guys can see, it's supposed to be at the end of each week, but I haven't done that. So part of the reason why it's so small is because it's like Felicia, like cut it out. You you need to do you need to do it. You need to sit down and file these receipts. So hopefully I'll be able to do it at least every two weeks, but definitely at least once a month. The goal would be weekly though, so that's why I didn't get anything larger. And then I also have this. Um, you guys may have seen this in one of my um, Way in Wednesday videos. I showed you guys this little pouch. And inside of here, I just have some makeup brushes to take on the go. And then you can see in here, just a bunch of random stuff. Like, I am definitely one of those girls. I like my stuff, but I like, I like for it to be organized so it's not like overwhelming, but I do like my stuff. Like, I just feel so much better when I have things that I may just need. Like, here's a pair of sunglasses. And I do keep sunglasses in my car too, but it's nice to have those in case I need them. Here is some sugar-free gum, some headphones. I like to keep these because many times whenever I travel, because when I'm, like whenever I'm at home, I use these big over-the-ear headphones. So whenever I travel, I don't bring those because they don't fold down, but I tend to forget my headphones. Like as a matter of fact, I purchased these um, on a trip to Texas because I had forgotten my headphones and that happens more than I would like so now I just keep a pair in here Okay, I have my lotion. I have some sweet pea lotion by Nicole Miller You guys know what that is and then some gloss sunscreen I live in Florida ultra important Cannot tell you how many times I've been out like, and forget to put it on and my shoulders and everything just burns. Like burns to where it hurts, so happy to have that. And then here's a little bit of makeup in case I'm ever out. Like a, a lightweight foundation. A few more things. Gloss, another gloss. <laughs> this was by NYX and it has a little bit of color in it. Eyeliner. Oh, this is my clicker that I got um, earlier last month, like for when you need to do like selfies. Yeah, that's what it's called. This is the clicker that I use to do like thumbnails and different things like that. And then another chapstick. And that is all that is in this bag. And you guys can see the inside of this bag. I love it. Oh, here is the, um, like so, there's this lock on my bag and then here are the keys. Like, is that not beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Well, I, just, I just keep that in here because I don't wanna lose it. Actually, it was in here. Oh, and I have a hair tie. Obviously, you guys can see I have really long locks and I cannot stand to be without a hair tie whenever I'm ready to put my hair up. And nothing is in this pocket. This zipper pocket, I don't put anything in there. Um, over here, I have some gift cards that I actually need to go through and check the balances. Um, these are all still good. I just need to see what the balance is on all of them. So that's what's in here. Also in this pocket, I keep my keys. I just think that your keys should be easy to get to. So, and then I'm actually breaking my rules. I will say I'm proud of myself that these pins are not like out, like the heads aren't out, but I did tell myself to not just leave pins floating in my bag. So I need a solution for this. I think I may put them inside of my pink case or I have an additional um, pencil case, a smaller one. Maybe I'll put that in here. But no, I think I'm going to put these in my in my case because I yeah, I think I'm going to put these in my case because I don't want pen marks in my bag. So and then we have another pocket here and there's nothing in here. So 
Oh, oh yeah, we already talked about these. Yeah, we talked about those items. So you guys can see the bag. I am in love with this bag. You can tuck in this strap, this long strap, and just wear it as like a top handle. But this bag is ginormous. I wanted the Neverfull, but I wanted something that had like a little bit more structure. So I went with this one instead. I just love this bag. I also love the um, souffle, I think it's called. Soufflant, souffle. But they didn't have that available in store, which I'm really happy that they didn't because this is the bag that I needed. Oh, she's so beautiful. She is so incredibly beautiful to me. I love this bag so much. I'm so happy that my husband got this for me. I absolutely love and adore this bag so much. She is just so beautiful. I love her so much. I think the part that is so special to me is because I wanted this bag for over seven years, guys. Seven years and I waited. I sacrificed. I was disciplined. I was so disciplined. Like, oh. I don't know like if you guys have ever wanted something before and you told yourself no but like telling yourself no for seven years just imagine that and then you finally get the thing I am ah. <laughs> I don't know I know like a lot of girls have a lot of luxury bags I know you know but for me this is my first one and I I really appreciate her and right now I don't feel like I'm ready to run out and go grab another one but I just want to cherish her and wear her and I think I think it's just more about it I think it's just more than about the bag like yes she's gorgeous but she's such a reminder to me of the hard work that we put in all right guys so I am going to go put my bag back together and I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video also if there's anything that you've just been wanting you've been putting it off leave it down in the comment section for me I would love to know like what are some of your desires and I just feel like this is an example of the brand like I help women create and build their dream lives in a body that they love but on a budget that they can afford in 2015 this was not in a budget 2016 no 2017 no 2018 no 19 20 21 22 my husband was able to make it happen for me so i'll see you guys later bye